Hi, in this video I want to show you how to edit a video clip that you recorded, for example, in uh, Zoom. So here I'm on a Mac, so I'm using iMovie, which you can get for free from the App Store. So if I am open iMovie, and by default, um, sort of in, 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 in this window where you can um, look at different uh, video files on your computer, but we want to do a movie, so we do file new movie. And we need some video files to work with, uh, so let's click on import media. And now you can um, navigate to the folder where your video file is. Uh, it's located, uh, I've already done that. Uh, so this will be sort of the, this is the Zoom folder where I recorded my lecture and you want the MP4 file. So import selected and now I can drag this video down here into the timeline and I can so this is now our movie um, so far um, let's look at this hi welcome to this lecture yeah. in the um, so I can play and pause by clicking here, I, do, I can just press the spacebar, which is a lot easier. So, the editing thing that I want to apply is that I want to cut off the very beginning until I start talking. So, it's very easy for me to determine where I start talking because it's so you know, this part of the track, blue with a blue background, represents the audio track. And here's sort of where the waves start. This is where the um, recorded audio starts. So I want to cut everything um, out until then. So I'll just take the left hand side of the this track and then I drag it. No, so actually I didn't mean so and I drag it until just before those waves file uh, wave waves. Hi, welcome to the session. Okay, this is great. And at the beginning, you can see I stopped talking here, but then there's the recording goes on for much longer. This is when I was exiting the Zoom call. Um, so I can just drag this also until here. So let's check the end. Thanks uh, for listening. Great. So now this is already now a much yeah, improved file, and usually I don't want to do uh, more editing than this because I'm all additional editing is a lot of work, and will increase sort of the time that it takes to produce this this clip uh, by a lot. In in this video, I made a mistake. Two curves. One is blue and one is yellow. So I talked about these two curves in the graph, said one is blue and one is yellow, but actually um, this one is red. So now I don't want to re-record and I don't want to do any sophisticated editing, so this will just be incorrect. But I can let students know that I made a mistake. So, um, so I navigate here where I'm actually saying is yellow. Oh, the wrong thing. And now I go on tiles, go to tiles, and I can choose one. i drag it down here where I want it to start. And so now I can have a text floating um, above the video. So I meant red. So that people know that I misspoke and then I can change how long this stays on the screen. So let's see. One is blue and one is yellow. Thanks uh, for listening. Okay, so so that that's great. Uh, now I'm happy. Now I just have to to save this um, file. So I do that. Um, well, it's automatically saved, but I want to export it into a format that I can upload, for example, onto your point. So I go to File, Share, 
and I want to share it as file. Here I can edit some meta information. Then I can choose where to put this. Let's call this and so yeah. So it's put in my documents um, and it let's call this file slideshow mp4. Save. And now we can see so here um, it takes a while to to process. Um, now it's done, and now I can navigate to the folder where it's, um, the file has been saved, and I can upload this file onto GeoPy or directly onto Canvas. Thanks for watching.